Mm -hmm. Opposition leaders have frequently attacked government leaders for their alleged corruption. In particular, the Prime Minister has frequently been cited as one of those who pilfered several hundred iron sheets meant for the vulnerable people of Karamoja. Today, Nabanja, who was at St. Jude Parish in Lukaya, blasted politicians, especially those from the opposition, who accused her of having been part of the Karamoja iron sheet saga. <laughs> You heard about the Mpugas sharing amongst themselves 500 million. Did you hear my name anywhere? Stop it, Senui. And all Ugandans, stop it. I have never taken any iron sheets. I have never taken them home. So stop it. <laughs> Nabanja insists that the iron sheets that she has been distributing were not part of the contested batch. Instead, she insists that it's time for the opposition to stop their holier-than-thou approach towards her when the reality is far different. If you have not done anything for your people, just say you have nothing because I'm tired of this and the country should know the truth. They should stop dragging our names Nabanja was provoked into making this statement after the lead of opposition Joel Senyonyi criticized government officials for embezzling funds before calling for special prayers to end corruption in the country. Over 10 trillion shillings per annum, corruption. 10 trillion shillings, over 10 trillion shillings. That's what we lose to corruption on an annual basis. That's money that can do a lot. And by the way, it is stolen in various ways. You make deals that are fake. People literally, you know, are making uh, wrong accountabilities because they've stolen part of that money and so on and so forth. However, Senyonyi, who is unbowed, insisted that he would not stop the fight against corruption in the country. It is sad that now this corruption has come to parliament as well. Because as parliament, we are meant to keep the government in check. How do you do that if your hands are not clean? All of this you know, talk that we have been hearing, money slipping through parliament, exchanging hands and that kind of thing, it is problematic. And I want to appreciate Ugandans because Ugandans are very alert and they are saying, no, we shall hold all these entities, all these institutions, including parliament, accountable. And as parliament, it's important that we account. During the fundraiser, Prime Minister Nambanja contributed 10 million shillings, while the lead of opposition in parliament raised 3 million shillings.